All right, so it's early in the morning. You all know what that means. That means we're pouring concrete today. Demolition Ranch. See you at the job site. I need to figure out where I can put my trailer because, as you guys know, we're gonna have concrete trucks coming in. And this is pretty tight around here. So um, I'm about an hour early because, again, I need to get all this situated. I need to make sure everybody's on the way. Just so much that I need to do before we even uh, get started pouring. So first I need to contact my finishers, make sure everybody's a go. Then I need to contact the concrete company. They're gonna be calling me soon if I don't call them because they need to make sure that we're a go before they start loading concrete. And uh, everything better be a go before they load it because if they call me and say everything a go, and I say, yep, let's go, and they load, and then I'm not ready, I just bought that concrete. Whenever I say let's go, I just bought it. Again, that's a pretty long trailer that I need to put somewhere. And like I said, everything around here is pretty tight. See, there's room here, but I can't put it here because I need this for the concrete trucks. Back here, same deal. I'm gonna try to get a concrete truck in here so we can pour this back porch. And of course, same thing over there. All right, so I had to put my trailer out here. This was really, Kind of like the best spot. The trailer's here and the slab is right there. So I need the trailer close enough to the slab because all of our tools are in there and again the slab's right there but still far enough away from it that it's not in the way for the concrete trucks. So I had to go around this tree right here so if I was to pull forward I would not be able to clear that tree so whenever I need to take it out I need to back my way out of here. So now I need to go down the road I guess and turn my truck around. I hope it's safe over here. You just never know what you're gonna find around here. <laughs> Looks like Matt's been doing some patchwork. And I think this is what he used right here. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> All right, so the first truck is here. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add color and fiber to the concrete. I'm gonna get them to uh, hopefully go in here and vacuum on the other side of the slab so we can start pouring concrete. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this fiber 500 to the mix. This uh, fiber is super fine, extremely fine that you won't actually see it in the mix. It, it can actually be a stain. This is some great stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add one bag per yard. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour in the truck or we're gonna throw in the truck and uh, we're gonna mix the drum and we're gonna mix it a hundred rotations before we pour it out. So that's what we're gonna do once we get this thing lined up where we want it. All right, so we put the die in the truck and the fiber. Now we're gonna get the truck to do a hundred rotations of the drum. Then we're gonna back them up. We're gonna start pouring concrete. All right, so we went and poured on that side. Now the truck's coming around so we can do the rest of it. You can see we use 16 foot screed boards. So we're able to reach all the way across, which makes it super easy. We forgot to put duct tape on top of that pipe. We should have covered it. Just, i just letting you guys know that I know. <laughs> In the comments, let me know how many of you guys were about to post about that, because that's a big no-no, but we forgot. However, we're tailgating, so it's really hard to get concrete in there when you're tailgating, but if you were doing a pump, it's really easy to put concrete inside the pipe, which would pretty much ruin your entire plumbing. So be careful. Alarm goes off and a quarter to five. Roll out of bed and rub the sleep from my eyes. Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots and then it's time to make that morning dry. So what happens, obviously there's an aggregate in the mix, right? You take the jitterbug, you push the aggregate down, and the water has to go somewhere, so that pushes the water up. I'm trying to keep the water in the mix. So one way we're doing it is with a day one, but the other thing that I'm doing is uh, skipping the jitterbug. We are using a Mac vibe, so it vibrates, so that pushes the aggregate down a little bit more than a conventional bull float. So 
that's what I'm doing now. And of course, this is a great place to test it. You know, the smaller slabs, that's where you want to do all your testing, not on your really big pores. But I mean, this is not much of a test. We've done this before, and I just think it works better. It's better for the concrete to keep the water in there as long as possible. So the whole reason is to get the rocks down so you have a nice smooth finish on top. This is actually better than Buffalo. It's called a mag vive. A mag this what? Mag vive. It, it vibrates. So this, the typical Buffalo doesn't vibrate. You just kind of throw it out there, push it back and forth, and, and just push the rocks down. This one actually vibrates. And I can hear it vibrating. You guys probably can't because this microphone is trash on this camera. We have a new <laughs> one coming soon. I'm like trying to talk super loud so you can hear me. We totally ruined it out in the rain the other day. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pour the beam first. We're gonna go ahead and get that done. After we get the beam done, we're gonna add the color and the fiber. I only brought enough dye for two full trucks and it may take a bit more, so we're gonna save some color by uh, not doing it in the beams. Well, I just realized my camera has been on manual focus this entire time, so <laughs> we'll see how good it looks. I'm sorry about that. I had to change cameras halfway through because I ripped the microphone off on the other one, so I guess Matt and I are both having microphone issues today. All right, now we're pouring the front porch. We added fiber and dye to this mix. So we want to make sure we get it all done, and then we're going to do the one in the back. All right, you should really be able to tell the color difference between this one and that one. Like I said, it's going to be even more different once this one starts drying out, because this one will turn lighter. That one will still stay darker. All right, so we got 10 yards in this truck. This porch is 10 by 24, and it has three beams that are, this one's 10 feet, that one's 10 feet, and this one's 24, they're 24 inches deep by one foot wide. Also, we have that other porch back there, which also has a 24 foot beam and two eight foot beams. The thickness of the concrete is four inches. Do the math and let me know if you think we're gonna have enough with this truck. So matter of fact, do the math and tell me how many yards it's gonna take to do what we're gonna do. And obviously, if it's more than 10 yards, we're a little bit screwed. If it's less, we'll have enough. So there's a little homework for you. I'll be checking the comments. So Matt, do you think we're gonna have enough? I don't think so. You don't think so, huh? No. I don't know, man. I think we'll be short. All right, so right now what they're doing is they're establishing the grade, which is gonna be an inch and a half below this slab, all right? They're gonna establish one here, establish one the other way. So they're going to establish one here, establish one here, and then they're gonna screed the other way. Most of my regular viewers, I've covered this many times, but I understand there's a lot of demolition joining us today. If you're one of the demolition joining us, put in the comments. There's the king demolition over there. So I'm gonna see if I can get him in there and get his, get his golden boots dirty. See that? And when they're done, they're just gonna mark that concrete. You'll see it right there. That's how they mark it. And if you see, they put a line right in the concrete and the screed touched all the way through. That means it's flat. Now they're gonna do the same thing on this side. We have grades. We shot grades on those boards. They're marked. We shot that with a laser. So they're going off of those marks. All right. Mark it. All right. Do it again. Right there. So you want to add a little extra concrete. You almost want a little bit too much so that when you pull, you don't run out. And it, it uh, you establish a real flat surface. Right there. Right there. Boom. Done. So you notice on the last stroke, he was making sure that he's rubbing slightly on this one. And now they, they, uh, they go to the center and done. So there's your grades. Now that, like I said, they're gonna follow this grade and that grade all the way and it'll be flat. Go in? Go in, man. Get in there. Get those boots dirty. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pull this board in sync with the other guy. Okay. And you're gonna make sure that you barely scrape okay. this surf. Don't dig in too much. Okay. And don't hold it up in the air because otherwise we're not gonna be flat. So easy. You've cut hair before. That's pretty much like cutting hair. <laughs> okay. 
Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And do not walk over there. Don't walk on that Yeah, because then you're going to ruin your own grade. So okay. stay inside about, stay about, yeah. about where you're at, right there. Okay. All right. Rock and roll. Just barely touch it. Both hands. Use both hands. Okay. There you go. Just like that. Now, now okay. kick, kick mud. See, uh, see where you move back? Yeah. Watch. Fill it in. There you go. Fill it in. There you go. There you go. Your left leg, you gotta kick with your left leg too. There you go. Oh yeah. I'm a pro? <laughs> I'm definitely a pro, right? Yeah, there you go. Hey, you gotta kick. Every time you move, you gotta kick. There you go. But you gotta stay down. Don't come up. They screeded the concrete already. Now we're gonna spray the day one. And we're using the silica slayer sprayer. All right, so we're doing the back porch now. What do you think? We're gonna have enough? So this is called a bump cutter, also known as a check rod. It's a straight edge, is what it is. And it's painfully obvious if your slab is not flat once you put the uh, bump cutter on there. You can see there's a low spot right here, okay? But we're building up cream right here. So we're gonna take this cream, put it in the low spot, and now we're gonna have a nice and flat slab. I see a lot of people in the comments that tell me that we don't know how to pour concrete, that's why we need a bump cutter. If you don't ever run a bump cutter, you're just assuming your slabs are flat. That's okay, that's how most people do it, but I'm not okay with it. Because it doesn't take that long to make sure. You can see right here is getting that cream. So it's gonna bring the bump cutter back. It's gonna jump it over the cream. And now it's gonna push it back. And there you go, nice and flat. That's all it took. Well, this is the vibrator that we run. We've been running these forever. They're nice and cheap. And uh, the big thing is they're lightweight, they're compact. But you know, we're still tethered by this long cord that goes all the way out to my trailer where my generator is running. So they're kind of a pain in the butt. So I noticed some companies are making uh, battery powered vibrators now. So that's the next thing we're gonna try. Oh no, I hear the rocks and the drum. When we hear the rocks and the drum, that means they're down to about two yards. All right, so see what they're doing right there with the come along? Yeah. Just pull the concrete all the way over there. All the way there. Yep. <laughs> he found a ditch. He found a ditch. There you go. Yeah, all the way. All the way. We might just have enough, guys. What do you think, man? Great, super easy. <laughs> super easy, he says. So, uh, was, that's how deep the beam is. <laughs> yeah. I'm mostly just sad that you can't see the gold on it anymore. I know, no more gold boot. Well, you only have one, Well, oh, right there. Right, no, no, right there, oh, right yeah. there. Gold Still spot. proof. What if you had to do this every day? I was worn out in the like three minutes I did it right there on camera. So. It's crazy, man. Yeah, no, if I had to do this all day, I'd be very strong. <laughs> really, really. I bet all these guys have very strong backs. Yeah. All right, so we're doing the same thing back here that we did in the front. Yep. Establish a grade here. Yeah. Establish a grade there. They screed. Me they're only giving me like... The rest yeah. of the way, so. Pretty much oh. very repetitive. All right. Good. Good. We're going to screed this side now. All right, Matt. Remember how to do it, right? You're a seasoned professional now. Yeah. Doing this all my life. There you go. Matt, get your hand deep on the screed. Otherwise, you're just working your fingers. You're gonna get super tired. Get your hand all the way in there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh my God. Are we out? Is it out? I think so. Oh man. We're out. Building. 